All right, we're back. Welcome to another wonderful part for Final Fantasy VII. Now, I think we should probably swap out Tifa. She is at level 18, and I think some of our other people, <laughs> they, um, they probably need some levels. Let's just de-equip her. PHS it up, and let's see who's who's weaker. Is it Barrett or Red? Uh, we haven't really used Red. Let's uh, let's get him in here for a while. And uh, hopefully we have better equipment for him than the num the normal shit that he has. That's definitely better. We do not have any other. Um, equipment for him. Shit. We're gonna have to get him a, a defensive thing. Shit, he, he really doesn't have it. That's not great. Uh, protects against frog small, nullifies fire attacks. Yeah, sure, that, that, that'll be pretty useful. I don't think we're too concerned about frog small status effect just yet. Uh, okay. Let's give him, I guess, steel poison, and certainly Ifrit, and I guess ice and all. Um, I don't think anybody else really has the ability to hold on to that second enemy skill, unfortunately. Yeah. Rock dust. Well, hopefully he gets a fucking... we can get him a better, uh, defensive item, so that he's not so shitty. I pressed circle, what the fuck? Oh my god. What the fuck? <laughs> can I climb up? What the fuck? I don't remember this shit at all. That was just fucking weird. Okay, good. Uh, W machine gun. That's for Barrett. <laughs> Pretty sure. I don't even know what those treasures are, but honestly... Who fucking cares? Can't be that great. Even though we put Red 13 in the party, I think it might actually have been a better idea to have uh, Barrett in the party. Because I think this area, not only did we just get a fucking um, a weapon for him, but I think this area is also relevant to him, but, you know, whatever. We'll just keep rocking with Red for now. Come on, Eris, please kill this fucking bird. I really want to get you your next, uh, limit break. Alright, well, Red 13 will take it, I guess. We also need to build up Red 13's limit break, because we only have his first one. We don't have it. We don't even have his second level one limit break. It's pretty pathetic. Turbo Ether, that's good. Uh, the transform material. That's actually pretty cool. Can't equip it on anybody just yet, though, unfortunately. Alright, let's see what's up here. Oh, uh, okay. I guess they're both uh, ways forward. Uh, I guess let's go down there and see what's Bracken with Tifa and Barrett.
gotta like try and farm kills for Eris so that she can get her level 2 limit break already. Can I attack? I can't even I can't even select the fucking enemy in the back. What the fuck? He's like blockaded. <laughs> what the hell is that? Yeah, that's that'll happen there. That's it. <laughs> Alright, well at least she got one. Maybe she'll get this one too. Yeah, she'll she'll be able to get the killing blow on the side of it. Peace out, bitch! No, I wonder if there's like slight EXP sharing because I haven't really used Red 13, but it looks like he was leveling up because he's level 17. I gotta try and pay attention to that. They might get like half the XP or something like that. Oh, oops. I think I. I think I attacked with him. I should have fucking. Use this limit break. Okay, alright, these guys are kinda fucking tough. Well, <laughs> as they do 12 damage. You so? Sledofang. Yeah, they're pretty weak. <laughs> yeah, you need to heal up, though. But it's kind of a, a strong attack, honestly. And that's that. Eris didn't get a single kill there. And it happens. Okay, cover leveled up, that's cool. Let's check it out. We also didn't even look at the transform material. Okay, uh, cover plus 40% and vitality plus 1. That's uh, cool, I guess. What's up, guys? Oh, Cloud, that's it. We can't go on until the bridge is let down. I think there's a switch in that shack over there. But there's too many monsters around, and I'm beat. The shack is here. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Cloud, let's rest a minute. Okay, then. Uh, we just did the PHS, so I think we're good. We'll be back. Go, Cloud, go! What a fucking cheerleader she is. She's awesome. She really has our back. Okay... So these things have like 150... Uh... HP. I think Eris could probably wipe them all out after the initial attack. Try to steal. Wow, get wrecked. Couldn't steal anything. Rocked us. Ah, 
Oh, fucking Cloud killed him with the exact amount of HP that he had. Well, okay. And Eris, I mean, uh, Cloud, and Eris, you can attack. I that backwards. Nice. Alright, I think she got like three kills there? That's, that's a decent progress. Still not enough, though. Son of a bitch. Go, Cloud, go! Ow! <laughs> what the. Oh god, let's see, this is it. Maybe if I turn this, something should happen. Do it. Why would I not do it? Wow, they couldn't even animate the fucking bridge being lowered. That's tough. Alright, I guess that's it. Let's try going this way. Is there anything over here? Uh, nope. Doesn't seem like it. Just gotta go back and... Get back to that path. Yeah, I just I don't really have much to do here. Well, I guess you can kind of try and steal. Okay, we got a soft. That's cool. Ah, yeah, rats. You bastard. I think you'll probably kill him? Oh no, okay. The next attack should kill him. We got a diamond pin. I think that's actually pretty good. Take a look at that. Breath of the Earth gained fucking finally. Oh my god. Hooray. Okay, well let's see what it does. Uh, cures all status ailments of all allies. Let's do it. Now, unfortunately, we'll lose Healing Wind by setting it to level 2, but... We have to use... Uh... Breath of the Earth, or whatever the fuck it's called, to unlock the next one. And then after that, I think she has to get, like, another 60 uh, enemy kills to unlock her level 3 one, and then the level 3 one needs to be used, I think, like, eight times or whatever the hell it is, to allow her to get the, uh, the second level 3 one, and then the level 4 one, uh, you have to find an item for it. And that's basically how it is for every single, uh, uh, limit break set for every character except for one. And we haven't seen them yet, so no, uh, no spoilers. Uh, let's actually sense these guys. She should actually cure up. against wind. we really got to find out how to get the, the wind materia. I hope I can just find it and I don't have to buy it. That would be nice.
Okay, well, we're getting a little bit of a head start on Eris's level 3 uh, little break, so that's cool, I guess. Is there anything down here? This is just a dead end. It doesn't seem like there's even anything here. Do -do 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 -do. I've, like, spent 15 minutes really just exploring, like, two fucking screens. <laughs> yeah, I guess just use Blade Beam. I gotta get my defense up. Alright, there is absolutely nothing over here. Oh, what's over here? Hey, look at this! Fucking hidden. We got a tent. We got a mine source. What's up? Hey, how'd you ever wind up around here? Look, I'm sorry, but I can't do a thing for you. Well, looks like you're really working hard. Power source. Alright, we gotta start using these sources on our party members. Um. I would love to put them on Eris, but there's a specific reason why I'm not. So I think the next person that I'll probably use it on is either Barrett or Tifa. Uh, and then I guess just like cycle through the, uh, the party members that way. Damn, why the fuck is Eris so strong all of a sudden? Holy shit. Okay. Damn, all those, like, the last batch of attacks right there were, like, super fucking beefy. And I think we just learned Bolt too, so that's fucking cool. Yes, we did, right? Restore lightning. We learned Bolt 2, and it's gonna take quite some time to get to Bolt 3. What are we doing on the, uh... Still got some time. Oh, God. Wow, this camera's real shaky dog stuttering. Let's sense this guy, and then let's sled fan his ass. 600 HP, okay. Mm. Oh, okay, he didn't actually bulk up after that bomb blast. I wonder if I got experience from that. No, I didn't. Fucking rocked us. Yeah, you gotta kill them fast. Well, I think you gotta kill them within three turns, otherwise they just explode in your face. And you don't get shit, unfortunately. Here's another one. Ice will, will do it. And even though this is going to be totally pointless, we're just going to use it anyway. Let's 
see, what is his uh, thing in? 328, shit. I think, uh, no, definitely can't use it for it. Let's try stealing. Let's try bio. Maybe bio will help. Fireball. I'm hesitant <laughs> to attack him still. Who has ice? I think he does, right? Yeah, he does. But it didn't actually do anything. I don't think it did. This should kill, right? Yeah. Alright, good. Poison is the way to go, apparently. That passive damage. I took three steps. What the hell? Oh my god. And another one of these fucking things. Alright, well, we know how to start things out. <laughs> yeah, uh, there's really nothing I can do. I mean, I can attack him one more time, but... I really have to kill him with the third attack. And that was pretty much just a waiting game. And that fire ring on Red 13 suddenly comes in hand. Damn, that's actually a fucking strong attack, holy shit. Instead of wasting MP, using Cure. Uh, no, nah, I'm not gonna waste Blade Beam on this guy. He's almost, he's like one turn away from getting KO'd by a hit. Should kill him. Yep, alright, perfect. I fucking hate enemies that have that, like, last attack when they get KO'd. Like, obviously, the bombs have it. There's also this enemy, I think they're called, like, the Behemoth or something, but they do, like, a meteor attack when. When they get KO'd, and it's super strong. It's a huge pain in the dick dealing with it. Well, looky here. Never thought I'd ever see your face again. They kick you out of another town or something. You destroy everything you touch. You got a lot of balls coming back here, boy. Look at this place. It's all your fault. North Coral turned into a garbage heap. Man, you guys are really down bad here. And I don't just mean sexually. Why don't you say something? Or did you forget what you done here already? I'm sorry. Damn, Barrett's really apologetic. Shit! You ain't even worth the effort. Don't waste your time talking to that techno freak. Damn. Wow. These guys are super aggy. Holy shit. What happened, Barrett? What'd you do? You heard him. It's my fault this town was destroyed. Is it? You know who's responsible for North Carol winding up North Coral winding up like this. Do we? Okay, I guess uh, I guess so.
Everyone knows that accident couldn't have been avoided, but no one will be satisfied until someone takes the blame. Alright. I want to leave this garbage dump of a town behind me and start a new life. If I had a buggy, I'd cross the southern desert and go to that town across the river. Oh, I guess we should get a buggy then. There is something glowing in that well over there. If I can get my hands on it, I'm going to sell it and go to the gold saucer. Okay. Real interesting, kid. Can we, can we get the hell out of here? Thank you. What's up, man? Get out of the way. The only way we can make ends meet around here now is by collecting junk. Okay. <laughs> the next train's coming in soon. All right. Grandpa used to be a coal train engineer. He still can't kick his old habits from them. The fuck, okay? It's like... <laughs> most useless NPCs in this whole game right here. Alright, you look like you're selling something. Please buy something, anything will do. Show me what you got! Tool shop. Potion, Phoenix Down Tent. Unfortunately, nothing you have is useful to me. What do you want? Uh, well, before we buy, let's listen to your story. Take that road on the left to the ropeway station. The ropeway will take you to the gold saucer. It don't mean much to us poor folks, though. Yike. Alright, what do you got to sell? General Stowe. Alright, well, we gotta transform one. Uh... I'm not going to buy any of that stuff right now. We haven't even encountered an enemy that inflicts that yet. If you want to survive, then you're going to need some of my weapons. I think you're right. Alright, uh, yeah. Red, you definitely need a carbon bangel. Uh, we already have a force dealer, and I don't think we need any melodives. And now we can give you the enemy skill materia. Uh, and let's sell that piece of shit defense item that we had. Was it the mithril bangle? Is that what it was? Mithril armlet? Let's get rid of it. Oh yeah, we have a an accessory, a diamond pin. What does that do? Actually, I think it's his. And it's slightly weaker, but it has an extra slot. The magic home is double, right? Yeah, let's keep the magic home for now. Can I go in here? There we go. Hey, what's up, guy? Okay. Yay, what do you want to play? Uh, nothing. How am I supposed to continue living in a town that's lost everything? To hell with the Mako reactor. Alright. Because of them, ugh, my husband got into that accident. He used to be such a strong man. My god, these people are depressing. It's like, is anybody happy in this place? I mean, I guess Costa del Sol, where we just left, is kind of a happy place, but fuck, everywhere else is just so depressing and shitty. I hear it's a big fad now in the city to get tattoos, is that right? I wouldn't know. Really? I saw a big one on the arm of a young guy heading towards the ropeway. That black cape he had on was really cool. Huh. Welcome, it's 50 Gill a night. Would you like a room? Uh... Yeah, actually, I think we should probably rest up. I think Eris, her MP is a little low, and it's only 50 gil, so it ain't terrible. Alright, thanks for the hospitality, bro. I hope I can jumpstart your economy with that 50 gil. And, and they, uh, they said that there was like an item in the well here, right? That little kid? 
Well, that doesn't look like I can do anything. Is there anything this way? Because I said to go to the left for the ropeway station. Oh, and that's just to leave. Well, we don't want to leave just yet. Excuse me. What's up, everybody? Eris. Barrett, what happened? Sorry. What happened? My hometown used to be around here. What do you mean, used to? It ain't here no more. Heard it got buried in just four years. But how could those people say those terrible things? And it's my fault. All my fault. Oh, I think I remember what happened. My hometown, Coral's always been a coal mining town. It's so dusty, but calm and so poor. A real small town. I don't get to see the rest of that. It's the first time I've heard the word Mako Rad mentioned since that time. It's kind of quick, actually, the text. <laughs> Village headman. What are we going to do? The only one against this is dying. I am definitely against it, no matter what. There's nothing to talk about if you're thinking of throwing away our coal. Our coal's been protected for generations. Our fathers and theirs before them risked their lives for it. We have no right to throw it all away so easily. But listen, dying. No one uses coal nowadays. It's the sign of the times. Right. Everything is Mako now. It'll be alright, Dine. Shinra Inc. will guarantee your livelihood once the Mako reactor is completed. Listen, Dine. I don't want my wife, Marina, to, sur to suffer any anymore. Jesus. Having troubles. I know how you feel. I feel the same way too, damn it. But even so, I won't give away our coal mines. Dine, you've got to understand. That's how the coral reactor was built and completed. We all thought it would bring us an easier life. But. There's always a but. What the fuck? It happened when Dine and I were out of town for a few days. Coral was burned down by the Shinra troops. What the fuck? Why? All the townspeople, all my relatives, everyone. Everything. Looked like a decent place, too. Shit. Shinra troops? What for? There was an explosion at a reactor. Shinra blamed the accident on the people. Said it was done by a rebel faction. That's so terrible! Well, I guess that's true, but more than Shinra, I couldn't forgive myself. Never should have gone along with the building of the reactor. Probably not, considering how shitty Shinra is. Don't blame yourself, we were all fooled by the promises Shinra made back then. That's why. That's why I get so pissed off! Not only did they take advantage of me, but I lost my wife, Myrna, too. Hey everyone, if you want to go to the Gold Saucer, hurry and get on. Hide the ropeway? Yeah, we should probably go. Let's get on. Enough of this fucking sentimental shit. Dine was my best friend. We was close ever since we was kids. Man, shut the fuck up and get on the goddamn car already. Never knew. Barrett never said a thing. Oh. Ellipses. Ellipses. Three ellipses in a row. We better go on. Yeah, we better. It's time to go.
This is the fucking gold saucer. Seems like it's not even really finished. <laughs> ah, balloons to welcome us. Okay. What's up? Welcome to the gold saucer. Well, thanks for welcoming us. Can we save? Access save points in the game, but each transaction will cost 5 GP here. We don't have any GP, so no way. Fuck. Welcome to the Gold Salsa. Are you together? A single pass is 3,000 gil. Or you can purchase a lifetime pass for 30,000 gil. Uh, don't pay. Can we just go in? Please buy your ticket here. Ah, uh, you bastard. Alright, well, I guess we gotta buy a pass. At some point, we should definitely save up and get the lifetime pass, but for now, we gotta get the loan. If you leave, your tickets become invalid. Here at the Gold Saucer, there are many places where you must pay with GP. Just think of GP as money that you can only use at the Gold Saucer. GP can only be redeemed at the games in Wonder Square and at the Chocobo races. Your GP limit is 10,000, so please be careful. Please enjoy yourselves. Thank. Wow, let's have fun! I know this isn't the right time to do this. Hey, Barrett, cheer up! I ain't in no cheery mood, so just leave me alone. Come on, Eris, like, read the room. Really? That's too cool. What the fuck is wrong with her? Let's go! Whisper, whisper, wasn't that a little harsh, Eris? Just act normal when this happens. Okay. You think so? Of course! We're gonna go play. So play! Messing around, f bitch! <laughs> Don't forget we're after Sephiroth. I didn't forget, bro. Think he's mad. No shit. He'll be fine. He seems to be doing a little better now. Okay. We better be careful. Sephiroth might be around. Uh. Yeah, I guess let's go together. Oh, shit. I didn't realize that she was gonna join my party. Fuck. I wish we could just forget everything and have fun. Oh. Okay, so it's only one person at a time. Well, Eris has Materia on her, so I'll take her, I guess. What about you, Red? You want to go with me? Okay. Yeah, let's just... Let's roll with Eris. Um... Let's follow Barrett and see where he went. Hey you, what are you looking so down for? How about it? Want me to read your fortune? A bright future. A happy future. Oh, but don't hold it against me if it's not a great prediction. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm a fortune-telling machine. The name's... Kate Sith. Okay. Since we gave you a name, I guess you'll be joining our party at some point. You can only read the future? 
You kidding? I can find missing things, missing people, anything. Oh shit. And I just realized that my mic was off for like the past few minutes. <laughs> okay, alright, well, I'm back on the mic, like a bozo. Uh, then can you tell me where a man named Sephiroth is? Sephiroth, right? Okay, here goes. Ordinary luck. It will be an act of fortune. What does that even mean? Give in to the goodwill of others and something big will happen after summer. Wait, what's this? Huh? Let me try again. So basically what I was saying when the mic was off was, uh... I picked Eris because she has Materia on her. Um... Although it may not really matter. Be careful of forgetfulness. Your lucky color is... blue? Forget it. Wait! Wait! Give me another chance! Wait! Let me try it again! <laughs> what is this fucking dance? What the... What? What you pursue will be yours, but you will lose something dear. I don't know if it's good or bad. This is the first time I ever got something like THIS! Then shall we? What are you talking about? As a fortune teller, I can't help but think about this. If I don't see what it leads to, I won't be able to relax. That's why I'm going with you. Wow, he's just forcing himself into our party. What are we going to do, Cloud? I'm coming with you no matter what you say. Arrgh. Uh, hey! Uh, okay. And he's just in our fucking party now. Uh, let's just check his equipment. Yellow M phone, silver armlet, protects against frog small, sure. Um, and he has a transform materia and a manipulate one too, that's good. Uh, I guess we can give him. We can set up his materia when we. Um, are able to, like, switch our party members out and shit, but not right now. Uh, also, good time to call it apart. So, as always, it's been real, and it's been nice. In other words, it's been real nice. I'll see y'all next time.